From appearances in court to the court of public opinion, there's certainly plenty to talk about in the race for the White House. With more on that, we're joined by Lauren Fox, a reporter with Talking Points Memo. Lauren, good morning. Good morning. Let's start with Paul Ryan and this rift between Ryan, who's the highest ranking elected Republican at this point. Is it it, can this be healed? And if it can't, how significant is that? Well, I think it's certainly significant if it cannot be healed, because Paul Ryan certainly stands for the conservative movement in the Republican Party. This is a guy who's written at budget blueprint after budget blueprint. And I think that it's certainly important that they repair this relationship. I think what he's going to be looking for from Trump is not just a tonal shift, but also a shift in terms of policy. Donald Trump has been going out and making statement after statement against trade deals that Ryan is supporting. He's made a couple of statements about health care that Ryan would disagree with. So I think that we need to see some unification here on policy and not just on Donald Trump's tone. So they're meeting next week. They are. A, a meeting that everyone would love to be a fly on yes. the wall for. Yes. Oh my goodness. So fun. Do you think that, what do you think Donald Trump will say to try to, fra to, to try to mend those relationships? Well, yesterday, Reince Priebus, uh, the chairman of the Republican National Committee, said, when I've been dealing with Donald Trump, I have seen a humble man. I have seen a very different personality than what the public has seen. And so I think we might see that Donald Trump tries to sort of convey that to Paul Ryan. I think that that is probably one of the things that will come up in the meeting. But I think Ryan is going to want to know about what these policy changes might look like. You look at the list of people who will not support Donald Trump's candidacy. This is a pretty extraordinary rift in this party. It is. I mean, look at the list of senators who are not going to support him. I mean, Paul Ryan is on the fence, but there's a whole bunch of senators, Lindsey Graham, uh, you have Jeff Flake of Arizona, who has obviously a high Hispanic uh, population in the state that he knows he has to win. I think that any senator who is looking to win a broader diversity um, of voters back home certainly is not going to be ready to support Trump right away. When you look at the broader picture right now, and it being potentially Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, yes. these are not poll neither of them poll very well. Mm -hmm. At this point, is it sort of a battle of the lesser evil when it comes to what voters are thinking? Well, when you talk to Republican and Democratic strategists, Democratic strategists will tell you they're feeling confident at the moment that Donald Trump is the nominee, but they are not so sure that Hillary Clinton has what it takes right now to outright beat Donald Trump. This, we have to remember, this has been such an unpredictable presidential election. I think it's hard to say that this is going to be a super easy election for Hillary Clinton, given her poll numbers. Let's talk about the Democratic race for a, uh, for a second, given that Bernie Sanders appears to be staying into this until the, the very end. How does that affect her, do you think, you, you know, given the delegate count at this point? Well, I think that it's very clear that she has the stronghold on this nomination process. But I also think that with him being in the race, it forces her a little bit to to the left on some issues. I don't think that will hurt her in a general election, uh, just given sort of the shift uh, in tone that we've seen from Donald Trump. Um, but I do think that it's certainly going to make an impact in how she looks at policy moving forward. We could have another lengthy chat about political running mates, oh, but we don't have so time today. Oh, so interesting, yeah. <laughs> Lauren Fox of Talking Points Memo, thank you so thank much. Thank you, I appreciate it. Well, tomorrow morning on Face the Nation here on CBS, John Dickerson's guests will include Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton.